Hey, welcome back to the Garden Rebel channel. And today we are not going to be doing any filming in our small garden down here at my place. However, we are going to take a trip up to my father's. We're going to kind of look around at his little flower bed garden he's got started. And then we're going to move on over to the old place that we used to live and the garden him and the new owner have out in that area. Now, you're going to see some beautiful beans, some beautiful tall corn, and a great watermelon patch. So hang around, enjoy, and I really hope you like the video. These are great. Mm. Right there. I think I'm rolling we picked it yesterday. Ten dozen, eleven dozen off of it. Well, twelve dozen. Turn out and look good looking. What kind of corn is that? Chew pag. What? Chew pag. Chew pag. What the hell kind of corn is that? It's a tower of field corn if you need it. When it first comes on, you That's real good cream style corn. You wanna see? I agree, it's real cool, right? <clears throat> Look at the size of the dang stalks though. What are you going to pick it with? A ladder? Yeah, <laughs> I guess I will. That's Volunteer Moon and Stars. We're up here at my pop's place, just looking around, checking out the garden. That's some pretty corn. Some I had to replant, it didn't come up, so it's short and tall, but. You got a phone call. Yeah, hey, Grady. All right. Yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> it's unreal how it's grown, ain't it? It's unreal how it's grown. You never paid no attention to it. <laughs> All these melons are moon stars. They're volunteers from last year. We had some melons up here. And, uh, cantaloupe. More watermelon he's put up. And uh, here's his bean trellis. I don't know if y'all will be able to see it or not, but these are just cattle panels that he's been over. I 
simply walk through it and reach over and pick your beans or reach up and with cattle panels it gives you enough room to where you can reach up through the whole top I was just talking on my video here got a pollinator in here then you come out to the okra potatoes cucumbers squash that's loaded he wants us to come down and check his tomatoes out so let's come down and see what he's got yeah these beans need to be picked You ain't got no young ones on there, but a few. They're, they're coming blooming. back. They're blooming again. Well, you know that old saying, the more beans you pick off of it, the more they grow. I don't believe that. <laughs> Unless you have. That's how that goes. <laughs> These are ground cherries. Here are wall ground cherries. Look like baby uh, tomatoes, but they got a skin on them that you bust off of. You see them in the grocery mm -hmm. store, big? That's what these are right here. Them. That's the mountain fresh. Yeah. That's like a bush tomato. Look the color, and this is a ping pong, they call them pink ones. And this is mountain pride here. That one right there, it's got the strip. Got the tomatoes on it, yeah. That's mountain pride. And now our, we're supposed to be in Goliath. I'm uh, not sure what they are. But there's some pretty good tomatoes in there. Are they? What well, they taste like? Good. They got they got a good taste to them. They really do. They just think what you wanted. Not what I call for. Not what I called for. These here's got a a lot of core to them. They may make some good juice tomatoes, I guess. Uh, Grady might know. He told me what he thought they were. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. <coughs> but I'm going to walk down there while I'm out and get my feet wet. I'm going to look at each one and put them in the corner. Let me ask you a question because everybody has always asked me this. How much money does it cost us a year to put out these gardens? Uh, in seed well, and fertilizer. Corn seeds I, are highest expense. Probably $125, $30. For all three. Fertilizer is the biggest cost. And we use synthetic fertilizer. We don't use organic nothing. No, no. You wind up getting everything eat up. Yeah, you don't put mulch around nothing of yours, do you? No. No, no. Why? Get this stuff eat up. Get the insects all in there. I ain't going to fool with that. I got enough trouble trying to stay straight. That's what I got. These little melons here. Or 70 days, supposed to be right in 70 days from planting. When did you plant them? Uh, God. Huh, I don't remember. Apparently, it wasn't 70 days ago, was it? No, and it wasn't 70 days ago. No, it hasn't been <laughs> long. It hasn't been long at all. These first five hills is that. <laughs> They're a real black little old melon, about 12, 15 pounds, and real dark red. So I'm just trying them, then I got some from. Uh, let's see, where is that? Arabia? No. Where is that I got down from? Afghanistan? No. Well, what was it? You I, said Iraq. You, Iraq. Yeah. I got some seeds here from Iraq. They look like Charleston Gray. Abula or some type of name like that. But no, I didn't have a good show this year on watermelons. Well, you know, we lost all of ours in that flood, and you had wind damage. Yeah, I had bad yeah. wind damage because there wasn't no grass to hold the plants. The runners. A lot of people so don't I think see, about I that. You see grass in here now because I, I, I just quit cutting the grass out. If you don't, you'll wind up in just a big ball of vines. That's all you got. They're laying on top of each other. So the tendrils, the little vines coming off of it, has got to have something to grab hold to. Right. If you don't, they turn upside down and just go into one big wad, whichever way the wind blows. That's how it happens. And what he's talking about. Or those little guys that shoot off. 
right there. And they'll actually wrap around grass stems and it keeps them steady on the ground. Which his melon patch doesn't look anything as nice as mine because mine's covered in grass. <laughs> They're safe. <laughs> Right here, so we'll quit. That's where we put her. That's where our biggest melons last year was Carolina Cross, wasn't it? Yep. You had one last year, wait, what? 111 pounds. I had one that weighed 60, and then you had your average size was what last year? 50 pounds? Yeah, at least average. I had some at 70, 73 and better, and some 68. And we just you just used the triple 19 on it last year? Yeah, I thought you. When we plant them? Yeah, I got one going right there. I'll have to baby that one. It's hard to believe it's something that size in less than three months would go to 111 pounds. Or bigger. Or bigger, yeah. You got a cat down here. Yeah, that's good. Keep here, your rats here's, here's out. Here's your wind damage. When it throws all the vines in one area in one direction. That you get. That's what you get. And I come through and straighten a lot of them up. A lot of them up. Oh, you see my little watermelon I had in here. Evidently, it must have died. This is another volunteer. I don't see it. Surprised we didn't have more volunteers because I cut this up and there was still a lot of melons in here last year when we done the turnip patch. <coughs> yeah, I don't see it. Don't see it. How many hills we got here? Well, it used to be 99. They were probably about 80, roughly. Or less. And you use, we use 10 to 12 ounces of fertilizer per heel. We yeah. take the 16 ounce cup. I, I just put it in my hand. And you just started doing the hand now? Yeah, the I bottom. still do the cup. I'll do the hand. So I'd have to measure it to tell them. I dig it deep and put it in deep. Have a deer come through here this morning. So a hundred, let's just say we got a hundred and thirty dollars in this all three spots. How many cans of green beans you put up this year? Been... How many's been pulled out of the garden, you think? How many bushels? I don't know about bushels, but they've been about at least 80 quarts, I know. How much corn so far? Probably 15 dozen. That's all we picked so far. Here's the corn. Yeah, and they still got corn to pick. I got to, I got to have a second picking yet. How much okra, or not okra, but squash and cucumbers you think you got out of here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's an everyday thing, girl. But you got to look. In a grocery store, okra or uh, squash and cucumbers still 25, 50 cents a piece. Yeah, or a dollar a pound. Get, I, I sell them dollar a pound. Man, it don't, it don't take long to add up. And the old big and squash we used to throw away, I cook them things, they're good. When we thought they's too big, they're not, mm. they're not. Make uh, squash patties. Oh, mash them up? Yeah, onion, a little cornmeal, a little dab of flour, maybe a little egg. Yeah, that's good. Like old tater patties. So, you know, you cook a lot anyway. Yeah. And me and Joe's always cook. I look. I like to cook. <laughs> Me and Joe has always learned how to cook, so we can the majority of uh, some of the fruits we pick or vegetables, but we give a lot of it away. That was one of my old volunteers. You done got... 
watermelon on there. That's a what is that? Might be a black diamond. That's what I was thinking. I, I don't know because it's not crossed or anything, so don't have no moon or stars on it. That's a good thing. And you got new hills planted here at the end. Yeah, I've got nine hills of squash and seven of cucumbers. So we'll see how they do. <coughs> well, you're definitely going to get me this year on watermelon. But I think I'm going to bust your bubble on the cantaloupe. Uh, let's just wait and see. Till <laughs> harvest time comes in. <laughs> we'll see. Right. Man, Pop, we're out here. And I'll holler at y'all later. See you, folks. See you. Well, that's going to wrap this video up today. Before we get wet, I've got to get eggs up, feed these chickens, check on a few beehives, and get inside because the rain's moving in, and I do not want to be stuck out here in a monsoon again. However, I just want to say right now, you guys are always welcome back to the garden spot. So, till next time, I'm the Garden Rebel, and we're out of here. You can slap tighter on